What is good? I mean, what is really good, my people? It is UK. Chocolate Brother, Dr. Blade, the darkest man. Around today, guys, I'll be talking about One Piece World Seeker. So, if it has been a time for you guys to get that fried chicken, get that glorious ass Kool Aid, now is the perfect time because the UK, Chocolate Brother will be going ham on this video. So, without further ado, let me just get on with this. So, first of all, I gotta start off by saying that One Piece World Seeker got terrible reviews. And what I mean by that is we got some reviews and the one I mainly saw was the one from IGM. They rated the game a 4.8 out of 10. And if you guys know what that is, that's pretty much saying that the game sucks. It's bad. And I'm not going to lie. I'm not really surprised by that. I'm not really surprised by that at all. The only games that really get decent reception or decent reviews when it came down to One Piece games was um the pirate warrior series and that's for the most part due to the fact that it's literally just um dynasty warriors with one piece skins over it that, that's pretty much what the 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 pirate warriors game was it was a one piece game i mean it was a, a dynasty warriors game with the one piece skins slapped over it that's what um that's what that game was and that's how the warriors games are so that already had a refined formula when they were making Pirate Warriors 1, 2, and 3, and obviously it got decent reviews. Other than that, Burning Blood's reviews weren't that great. A lot of people didn't really like Burning Blood, it wasn't received well. It was considered a mediocre game, and this game just got a lot worse than what Burning Blood ever was. And in my personal opinion, with the stuff that they made, was the same stuff I was fearing about this game. It being repetitive, it being bland, it being empty, and it just having terrible gameplay. The one saving grace that I knew that this game would have, or should I say the two saving graces that I knew that this game would have, is the fact that this game was going to have a good story, and this game was going to look good in terms of the cutscenes, in terms of how everything looks visually. That's the game's strongest suit. Cutscenes slash story and um the visuals and how everything looks because let's be honest this is the best looking one piece game to date and I, I can't deny that regardless of how you feel about it this is the best looking one piece game it's better than pirate warriors it's better than bun and blood and i'm talking about in terms of visuals of course but with the game being bad with it having terrible gameplay with the swinging of the game sucking it's not really a surprise because they didn't really execute it as well as it should have. The concept was good, but yet again, with anime games, it's just the execution that they failed to do right. It's always been the execution. I know a lot of people are going to say, yo, this game would have been better if you had the other straw hats and all of these characters playable. Nope, it would have still sucked because the gameplay would have still been the gameplay. The only difference is, is that you would have a different character that would move a little bit differently, the, um, the buttons would do the same, just different outputs coming out. That's pretty much what would have happened, it would have really increased it. And in fact, I feel like the in-depth nature of the characters would be even less, like it was with Luffy. And they said the side quests were tedious and it kind of deflated from the story. It would have been even worse if they had the Straw Hats as well. Maybe it would have been better, but in my personal opinion, I felt like it would have been worse because if they can't get one character right, why would you trust the same people that can't get one character right with eight or nine characters or even ten characters? Like, you just know that they're not going to get that right if they can't get the the one character that they were entrusted to do well. Um, honestly, like, it gets to a point where you just think to yourself, where did they go from here? Because obviously this game ain't going to sell well. Obviously this game's going to do worse than um than burning blood and i know there have been people out there that are saying they know who they are that are saying that um they don't care about the sales it's about how well the game is me i wouldn't care about the sales if the sales didn't affect us from getting good games and that's what the sales do it, it affects us a lot man we feel the impact of a game having terrible sales regardless how how good the game is if a game doesn't reach the right amount of sales or it doesn't reach the numbers that is meant to be reaching then a lot of these developers are gonna can the game and that could be a game that deserves a series 
to a game that doesn't deserve a series that is selling well but if it's selling well then they're gonna keep on doing it they're gonna alterate some stuff they're gonna change it up to be better one piece burning blood was a game that deserved a sequel based on how good it was and it didn't get one because it didn't sell well so sales do count and the more these games do bad the um the less should i say the less they're gonna put into one piece games because let's face it one piece is on its last legs man in terms of games it's, it is on its last legs like we've had burn and blood failed uh we had um uh, this game fell as well so like it's any game after that is going to be a massive risk unless they're going to put all their eggs and actually proper give us the game that we truly want and deserve for the most part in my personal opinion they might even result going back to pirate warriors because there is some action to be added because of how much content or should i say well because of how much content there is in um in whole cake island so I wouldn't be surprised if they go back to Pirate Warriors and make a Pirate Warriors 4 because all these other formulas they're not being received well, they're not really being accepted and Pirate Warriors 4 is the safe way to go about things but me personally I don't know whether I'm going to get this game, I don't know, um, I, actually wait scratch that, I'm not going to get this game and if I do get this game something happened for me to get this game. If if this uh, game that I'm just trying out just to give you guys my own thoughts and opinions and how I feel about it but based on how everything has been said uh, I want to support One Piece but it's hard man it's really hard man it's it's hard to support garbage man it's like it's like um you're getting fed shit you're gonna struggle to eat that shit and that's what I'm doing I'm, I'm struggling man to eat that shit <laughs> Because that's how it is with these games, man. That's how it is with these games. But I want to know what you guys think about this. Leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. How do you feel about One Piece World Seeker? Are you still getting the game? Or is this game a lost cause? I want to know what you guys think about this. Leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. And yeah, let me just wrap up this video. So, please comment and subscribe. I know I say this all the time. But at the end of the day, I'm just saying. Please do like, rate, and enjoy this video. And yeah, this is UK. Truck the Brother will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.